Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today I thought we would do a little fabric and lace sampler um, that we could use for Happy Mail or you can include, um, you know, in journals, um, just however you choose to do it. Um, this is what I've come up with. Very, very simple. You could decorate it as elaborately as you want. But what I've tried to do is create something that absolutely everything um, can be used. And so we've got the Irish linen thread holding a couple of buttons. You could include more, obviously. And then I've got some laces. I've got um, some vintage Laura Ashley fabric. I've had this in my stash, and I thought it would just be really fun to... Um, to start to share some of these pieces that I've got. They're just small pieces, but it's still enough that somebody could make some little snippets. Um, some of the larger pieces, they could even make a couple of ruffles if they wanted to. And then, of course, the paper. In the end, that could be used as well. So that's what I like about this, is absolutely everything um, can be used. Um, so let's get started because I've got these bits, and I do apologize <laughs> for my orange hands today. Um, we're supposed to be doing a canoeing trip on Monday, and of course by the time you see this, uh, that may have been well past, but I thought, oh my gosh, I've, I haven't even had a chance to really get any. I've had some color, but I thought, oh, I better get the self-tanner out, and oh my gosh, I hate, hate, hate using self-tanner. But I hate even more being, you know, pasty white when I go. <laughs> so that's why my hands, I just applied it. And of course your hands just end up so orange. Ugh, I hate this stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to follow through with it or not. So that's why they look really, really weird today. <laughs> so here are some scraps um, that I'm going to cut down and make these work for this project. Now, to get this size, I've cut this by this paper four and a half by nine. And then I'm first going to start punching because I want to have a nice decorative edge. So, this is my uh, little flower punch. And this one does not work well on paper. It just, it, particularly if it's been tea dyed, it just seems to want to eat it up. But on cardstock, it does. Cardstock, it does a really, really nice um, job with that. Okay, so I've got that punched out, and uh, let me just go ahead and fold that over, and then I'm going to cut the fabric to fit this. And you could make this any size you want. Um, these are quite big, but these are going to be going into, you know, various things I've got planned coming up. So, let's just start with this piece. And the other thing you can do, if, if you want to give a little bit extra, just fold it. And that's going to all fit up nicely inside here. Let me get some of this uh, strings cut off. Help if I have my right the right scissors. I'll just go ahead and snip that edge, the end off, real quick. And then, of course, these pieces are going to go into some snippet rolls. Um, I need to get busy on that. I'm falling behind again, guys. You know that's the story of my life. Now, this is an unusual shaped piece. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and trim down. I hate to to do it, but I'm going to I'm gonna trim this down so that it's square. And as I said, this won't be wasted. Those will go into some snippet rolls, and I'll probably try to do some um, blue 
and stick with one color, I think is what I'm going to try on the next one. My snippet rolls in the past have just been just a collection of whatever is in my drawer, you know. But um, I'm going to try to do some that are just coordinated. Now that I folded over because I, I, I just think it would be nice to have a larger piece included in that. And um, then I've got some of this. Another odd piece you can see. Yeah, I picked this up at a flea market some time back. And I'm just trying to get through these scraps and get them put into things I can send out as happy mail. And then, like I said, I want to get on with the snippets. Now I'm going to fold that one as well. So there's some extra fabric. Isn't that a beautiful? Oh, I love that one. And then I've got this little piece, so again, I think I might double up on this one, just because that's a really pretty piece. And they're not large bits of fabric, but it's still enough that I think somebody could, uh, you could do quite a lot with those. Okay, so we've got that. Let's add some trim. Got some of this heart trim. I might put that on top actually. Let me grab a few. <clears throat> okay, so here I've got some of this which is quite wide but I'll fold that over and add that. I've got some of this old crochet trim. I'm going to add a little bit of that. This is another bit of uh, vintage lace. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. i put that up there because that's a little bit. <clears throat> okay, and then I've got some of this I'm going to add. And then we'll follow up with the hearts there. Well, that kind of covered that. Let me change that around a bit. Because this one's really delicate. Okay, guys, let me, okay, so I like the way that's going to look. The other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add this little piece, and I'm going to sew a couple of buttons on this one. So this will be a little bit different. And these are the mother of pearl, so I'll just stitch a, a few of those old buttons. Let's see, I'm starting to get, 
I'm starting to get low. I'm down to probably 10,000 buttons now. <laughs> no, I don't have that many, but um, but yeah, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to start scouring because not all of these are um, the mother of pearl ones. And I do like, let me take that one out. Um, so I'm going to have to have a look when I get to the flea market and see if I can... get another good deal of those. I love these. So really quickly I'm just going to stitch that. And there again, I like this because it's quick and everything can be used. Actually, let me just go ahead and this will take a little bit longer. But that way, if whoever receives this just wants to take one button off at a time, um, they can do so. Sorry, this is a bit boring to watch, guys, but it's got to be done. Yeah, I can already see the self tanner is going to have to get washed off. This is ugh, I can't. It's driving me mad. And if you've ever used it, ah, uh, isn't the smell awful? You put it on, and um, I don't know. It's just got a really weird smell to it. But I just, you know, when the summer started off, I had all these big plans, as I do, and I thought I would be out more than I was actually ended up. I just didn't, I don't know. The summer's just gone. I'm sure you all can relate. It just seems to have vanished. Um, so, <clears throat> hopefully, <laughs> the forecast is showing thunderstorms, which is like, they never get thunderstorms here. It's very rare. Although, having said that, we've had a couple of this, this summer because of the high humidity. But, just typical, isn't it? Um, and we can't change because you'll lose, you know, there's no cancellations. You just have to take a chance. And it's always a big old chance in the UK. So we booked it, and unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be out there on the water with thunder and lightning. <laughs> so if you guys don't hear from me, you might know that. Uh, she didn't make it. <laughs> she was struck by lightning. American struck by lightning in England. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it should be a nice... It's only a half a day. Um, I don't think my high knee could withstand a whole day of um, being in a canoe now. Alright, so I'm going to put that there. So... Just going to gently slide this over. I'm going to get a couple of uh, holes here very quickly. Oops, I've done that properly. So line that up and then just mark two places you want to punch your hole. go. Okay, so now the other thing I want to do, I'm going to need a uh, thread. It's a pretty big needle, as you can tell, um, because it's going through all that fabric. And then I'm going to double up this th linen thread because I want to make sure I've got um, quite a lot of that to share. So yeah, we're going to, um, Paul's son and his fiance are coming down. They were due to get married the end of this month. And of course, everything has been canceled. So, um, they have not even, 
rebooked a date, and I'm not too sure why, but anyways. Um, so they were due, and so we've <clears throat> we got a half a day on the river, and then we're going to come back, and I've got a big meal planned. But we're going to have a big breakfast before we go. And um, that'll set us up for the day. And then when we get back, I've got a nice meal planned. And then they're going to stay the night. We're going to play games. Um, so it should be a, a nice day. I mean, we'll probably end up soaking wet. But it's, you kind of get used to that if you live in England. So it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I'm just going to put a knot in this. And then tie a little bow. Hmm, okay, I'm going to have to redo that. Oh, dang, I've already tied that off. <laughs> See there, I should have been paying attention. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And, uh, yeah, so you would just want to make, make sure you got those pretty even. I'll, I'll cut that off so it's not too, too much difference. Um, and the other thing... I've got these labels from chapter one. I'm just going to do a quick little stamp. Okay, just going to put this little label on there, and then I'll have these ready. Too, that's a little bit big that one is, but so now I've got these two ready to go. And I think that's a really sweet little um, a nice little way to share some of your laces and leftover uh, fabrics with others. So yeah, these will be going into some Happy Mail very soon. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you got any questions, let me know. Obviously, you know you can size that down if you if that's too large because it does end up. Four and a half by seven when you've when you've folded that over, but I really like that, and I'm going to stay busy doing that to clear out some of the um, fabrics that I have been hoarding forever. <laughs> but um, I hope everybody's okay. Take care, stay safe, and I'll be back very soon. Bye.